Hello and welcome to the Kansas full election. This includes the governor and the house races. We're going to start out with the governor race. Laura Kelly's behind Chris Kobach by 2%. There's 15% of the vote in. In the Kansas 1st House District, we can call it for the Republicans. 17% of the vote is in. Republicans won it by 65% to 35%. In the Kansas 2nd House District, it is too close to call to complete tie. 21% of the vote is in. Out of the Kansas 3rd House District, 11% of the vote is in. Democrats lead by 6%. This is currently held by the Republicans. This is not looking too good. We have a call in Kansas 4th House District. Republicans get 61% of the vote and Democrats get 39%. 13% of the vote was in. We have an update on the governor race. It's a complete tie between Laura Kelly and Chris Kobach. 19% of the vote is in. In the Kansas second house seat, 30% of the vote is in. Democrats lead by 2%. In the Kansas third house seat, 15% of the vote is in. Democrats lead by 8%. We have an update in the governor race. Laura Kelly takes the lead by 1% with 34% of the vote in. In the Kansas second house seat, 50% of the vote is in. Republicans lead by 0.2%. In the Kansas third house seat, we could call it for the Democrats. It went for them 10% more than it went for the Republicans. 45% to Republicans, 55% to Democrats. We have an update in the governor race. Laura Kelly's behind Chris Kobach by 2.5%. 55% of the vote is in. In the Kansas second house seat, 50.3% of the vote is going to the Republicans and 497 to the Democrats. Republicans lead by 0.6%. 68% of the vote is in. We have an update on the governor race. 68% of the vote is in. Chris Kobach leads Laura Kelly by 2.6%. In the Kansas second house seat, 79% of the vote is in. Republicans lead by 1%. In the governor race, Laura Kelly's behind Chris Kobach now by 3%. 76% of the vote is in. In the Kansas second house seat, Republicans lead 2% to the Democrats, 89% of the vote is in. We have a call on the governor race. Chris Kobach will keep the Kansas Senate governor, I mean, governor seat as a Republican. We have a call on the Kansas second house seat. It will remain in the Republican column with by 3%, 94% of the vote is in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And Tune in for my final prediction on Monday or Tuesday.